friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building this Amtrak P40DC. So let's get right into the build here. So our first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and get it attached up. Underneath that, we're going to take out a dark oak fence gate for an airline. Come on the locomotive behind that, delete these fence gates and replace them with dark oak fences on either side of the coupler. Then in front of that on the next block down, right above the rails, we need to get a row of five right side up and a side stairs facing this way. On the next level in the middle, a light gray concrete and then two upside down andesite stairs on either side. On the next layer up, five light gray concrete. Then, on this left hand side, we're gonna put a warped button on the outside, then a perch button, and then over on this side, a perch button and a polished black stone button. Then swing around in front of it. On the second block up on each side, we're gonna put an upside down and a sight stair, just like that, and a light gray concrete above it on each side. On the next block forward from that, down on the rails, we're gonna put another right on each rail with an end rod axle for our first set of wheels. Then a three by three of polished black stone blocks, and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the side, an upside down polished deep slate stair here, then a right side up one facing outward here, and an upside down one facing this way here. Repeat that pattern on the other side. Next we're going to open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels down on this side here. Then take a polished black stone block and we're going to fill in the top middle three on the second layer down the length of this truck. We're going to come out one block past where the fence gates are on bottom. In front of that, we're going to make a five by three of lodestone blocks coming out to each side of the train tracks. Then underneath it, we're going to fill that whole lodestone section with smooth stone slabs. Make sure it comes out to the other side as well. Once we have that done, we're going to come back up here in front of the lodestone, three polished black stone in the middle. Then we'll spin around this way in an upside down andesite stair on each side. Then come around in front of it here, and we're going to extend a line of polished black stone blocks down above this rail. And that line needs to be 10 blocks long in total. Then we'll extend it over by two, so that it's three wide. Then we're going to come underneath it here, start one block in front of where the stairs are. And we're going to fill this whole bottom in underneath it with polished black stone slabs. And we're going to bring that all the way forward. And actually we're going to stop one block before the end. I screwed up there so I had to delete this first row. Then we'll come up here on the side and an upside down and a stair facing forward on each side like that. Then on this second block up on the side, we're going to put a full row of light gray concrete to fill in this fuel tank area. Same thing right here. Then we're going to come on the side underneath this, on the third block forward from the back, four polished deep slate walls. Then an upside down lever for an air tank. Same thing here, so on the third block forward, of this section, four polished deep slate walls, and an upside down lever going into it. Then in front of this on the top layer, a three by three of polished black stone blocks, 
and on this side here, a brewing stand. Then we'll do our wheels. So on the next block down, we're going to get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of it, a 3x3 three three of polished blackstone and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then an upside down polished deep slate stair here, an outward facing right side up one, and an upside down one on this side. Repeat that pattern on this side of the truck. Then we're going to take a dark oak fence gate, open it into the ends of the wheels down here on each side, and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then we'll continue filling this top metal three with polished blackstone blocks until it's right above where the fence gates are on this end. Then on the side of this here, an upside down backward facing end site stair on each of the top blocks. In front of that, three polished blackstone across the middle and a light gray concrete on either side. Then under the light gray concrete, another upside down stair. So it looks like that. Same thing on this side here. Then in front of this, five andesite stairs facing this way across the bottom. Above it, a light gray concrete in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side. Now on this third layer up, start one block in from the front and we're gonna fill in the middle three on top of polished blackstone down to the other end. Then we'll take out light gray concrete, starting right here, and we'll go all the way around the top outside edge of the locomotive with light gray concrete. Next, we're gonna swing up to the front end here. We're gonna put a crimson button on each outside edge, then a polished blackstone button next to it. Turn around with a dark oak stair and get it stacked up to that second block for the coupler. Delete the ones we use for placement. Put a dark oak fence gate under it. And also open dark oak fence gates on either side of the coupler here. Then come on the side here, above where that brewing stand is, put a crimson button. Then skip to the fifth block back from that. And we're going to put another crimson button on the side. Right here. Then we'll come across and we'll put a crimson button on the same spot on the other side. Now come on the sides of the trucks. We're going to put a hopper in front of each wheel and then a full row of iron trap doors above it on the side. Same thing here. Hoppers in front of the wheels, full row of iron trap doors. Then we'll do the other side. Hoppers in front of these wheels, full row of iron trap doors. One more corner to go. Hoppers in front of these wheels. Iron trap doors on top. Next, put a birch door in the center of the back. Then, we're gonna come around on the sides here. And on the third block forward from the back, we're gonna knock out the gray concrete and put an upside down and a side stair on each side. Then put a door above each of those stairs. So it looks like that. Then we can come around this corner on bottom with light gray concrete on each side. Then we're gonna put four bedrock on each side in front of the door to be a vent. In front of those bedrock vents, we're gonna go back to light gray concrete and start running a line of light gray concrete at each side of the locomotive here. We're going to bring it all the way forward until it's one block before the end on the front side here. One block before the front, we'll bring it straight across and then one in the middle. Then we're going to put an upside down andesite stair and another one so it makes this upside down U shape and same thing on this side. So it looks like that. Then on top of the front, a red nether brick stair on each side. One here and one here, three red concrete in the middle. Then on each side behind it, one red concrete, 
and then five blue concrete coming across like this. Then take cyan terracotta in the middle. We need to come one back and one up. Two black stained glass blocks on either side of that. Then behind it, a cyan terracotta on each side and two more black stained glass blocks. Underneath these windows here, we'll extend our red concrete and our blue concrete down to the end of the windows on each side. Then in front of this, we're going to put a glow item frame on each side of the red concrete with a glowstone for ditch lights. Then in the blue concrete, a glow item frame with glowstone in the middle for headlights and a crimson button on each outside edge of the blue concrete. Come behind the cab here and we're going to knock out this first column of light gray concrete on each side. Then we're going to put a right side up andesite stair and two upside down ones above it. Same thing here. Then we'll put a door above it on each side here. Then we're going to take our red concrete behind the door and come all the way down to the back of the locomotive. We'll come around the corner and around that corner and then all the way up this side. Bring that right up to the door on this side. And then of course the next layer is blue concrete and go all the way around with that. Then behind the door on the next layer up, on each side, we're going to put two cyan terracotta, then three deep slate tile blocks, cyan terracotta on each side, five deep slate tile blocks on each side. Behind that we're going to do eight cyan terracotta. Then two deep slate tile blocks behind that, and cyan terracotta down and around the back. Then on top of the back of the locomotive, fill in the middle three with cyan terracotta, and we're going to bring that forward all the way down until it's mum block before the windshield. Then we're going to put a row of polished deep slate stairs across the front, wrap it around the corner here till you get to this vent section. Then three deep slate tile stairs, a polished deep slate, five deep slate tile stairs. Then eight polished deep slate, two deep slate tile, and polished deep slate down to the end. We'll repeat that over here. So polished deep slate till you get here, two deep slate tile. 8 polished deep slate stairs, 5 deep slate tile, a polished deep slate, 3 deep slate tile, and polished deep slate until it reaches the front here. Now come down to the back because I just realized some of this is wrong. We're going to knock out these stripes because the whole back is light gray. So we'll put light gray concrete like this and actually knock out this corner one here above the door. We're gonna put three netherite and fill this in with light gray. Then we're gonna knock out all the rest of this row up to the top. Then we'll put five light gray here, three in the top middle. We'll put an andesite stair here and here. And now here's the main external difference between the P40DC and the P42s we've been building. Knock out this top block to the left hand side of the door and replace it with black stained glass because there's this window here where they look out for backwards moves. Then we're going to come up here, one block above the door, a glow item frame with glowstone for a rear headlight. Then on that same level as the netherite on the outside edge, a birch sign with our locomotive number is going to be 840. Same thing on this side. A bird sign with 840. Then a polished black stone button above each of the signs. Then on the top corners, a crimson button on each side. Then we're going to take iron bars on each side of this back door here. 
we're going to extend them down in a column of three on either side of the door. Then we'll come up to the front door. And on each side of this, we're going to do a column of four. Then we'll put our railings on the other side. It's the same thing on this front door. It's a column of four coming up each side. And by this back door, it's a column of three coming down on each side. Then we're going to come back up to the front and do our locomotive number on the front. And for that, we're going to take out a warped sign. Put a warped sign in between the windows with our locomotive number 840. Then we're going to hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. Come up on the top side of the locomotive back here, one block in front of this rear vent. We're going to put a row of five item frames. Same thing over on this side, one block in front of that vent, a row of item frames. Then we need to make some banners, so get out a loom and come into it here. We're going to use a light gray banner and white dye. A vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, upside down triangle on top. New banner. Horizontal on top. Vertical in the middle. New banner. A vertical on the left. Then a diagonal. Then the other diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left. Top half white. Then a diagonal. Then we're going to switch over to light gray dye. And we're going to put a light gray border around all of these lighter banners. Then we'll come up and place it on the side of the locomotive. So in these item frames we put up here, we're going to use our banners to spell out Amtrak. And I was one short, so we have to add another item frame. Then we'll go put it on the other side as well. So we have to add another item frame, and then we'll spell out Amtrak on this side. Now we're going to come back into our loom here, and this time we're going to use a blue banner and red dye. We're going to make the bottom half red, then switch to white dye and a horizontal white stripe in the middle. Then we'll use this banner to make more detail on our stripe section here, and just bring that all the way down to the back. That way we have the red, white, and blue stripe. We'll do the same thing over here. Just bring your stripe banners all the way forward. Keep it coming. And right up to the front here. Now we'll detail the top of the locomotive. So come up here, aligned with this first vent section, and we'll make a three by three of iron trap doors. In front of that, a stone button on each side. Then one block from the front on this engineer side here, we're gonna put back-to-back -back levers for an antenna. On the next block back, we put a gray candle on the other side. Then we'll come down behind this here. A stone button on each side behind those trap doors. Then on this side, open back-to-back -back dark oak fence gates for the horn. Then we're gonna do another three by three of iron trap doors behind the horn here. Then a stone button behind that on each side, skip a block, a stone button on each side again. Then take polished deep slate slabs and make a square, knock out the center one, and we're gonna grab a smoker to be our exhaust and put that in that center hole. Skip back behind this last vent, three iron trap doors here, and three one block in from the end. Then a plus shape with polished deep slate slabs, knock out the middle, put in cobbled deep slate, and then an iron trap door for a fan. Then two buttons in front of that first row of three iron trap doors there. Now we'll
will do the interior, so come inside here and take out a smooth sandstone slab. We're going to put double slabs across the front under the windows. Then behind it, we'll start filling in this level of the floor with our slabs. And we're going to bring that back till it's one block behind the doors. Then we'll take out smooth sandstone stairs and make a staircase here coming down on the right. Then, next to that, we're going to make a 2x2 two two with our slabs. That's going to go floor all the way up to the ceiling. So just keep filling it in here all the way to the top. Then turn around. We'll put three slabs up here for the desk. Then take out a glow item frame. One here and one here. And then a lever for the engineer. Then we're going to go in and we're going to take out an end crystal here to be our computer screens. And we're going to take that and put those in those glow item frames. Turn around. Put a stair here and here to be seats. Then we'll put two blast furnaces across the bottom, one on the top right and a glowstone on the top right, then a door right here. Then we'll come and work in back here. We're going to put an end portal right there in that corner, then another two columns of slabs next to it going floor to ceiling to frame in this bathroom. Then we'll put a torch up here, then another door right here and right here. Then we'll raise up to the ceiling above both of these doors with our slabs. Now we'll take wax cut copper stairs, turn around this way and three of them upside down facing the wall like this. Spin around and three facing this way. Then three right side up right here and three right side up going this way. Above that in the center, a 2x2 two two of polished deep slate block, then two on each side of the top. Then behind that, two columns of wax oxidized copper going floor to ceiling, and we'll put a torch over here. Then we put three levers on the left hand side for breakers, a polished deep slate wall on bottom here, two smooth stone, with glow item frames with compasses on the side of it. Behind that, coming up the center, we're going to do a row of eight sideways anvils for the bottom of the prime mover here. Then above the anvils, a full row of netherite blocks coming down to the end of it. Then we're going to take a stone button on each netherite block, a stone button on the side of it. Same thing over here, stone buttons down the side over here. Then above that, another full row of anvils. Then above that, we're going to put a netherite right here, coming from the front of it, going four blocks back, then polish deep slate walls down to the end of it. Then a two by two of smooth stone blocks, and then a column of two on front on top. Then we're going to put wax oxidized copper coming across on top like this, two rows, and a door on each side underneath. Back here, we'll do the head and power unit. So we're going to put four sideways anvils, then a row of smooth stone, then this reverse L shape of smooth stone blocks, and then a polished deep slate wall here, here, and raise it up by one. Behind that, we're going to put a column of two brewing stands, down here a lever, then a glow item frame, above the window with an end crystal for a computer screen because there's a little control stand there for moving the locomotive backwards. This option was deleted on the later P42 DCs. And so there we have it folks, we've completed our Amtrak P40 DC. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.